Minister, uh, President, and uh, Vice Chancellor, it's my uh, honor to uh, present you Mr. Khan Leon, CEO and founder of California based ZL Technologies and one of the earlier pioneers in massive scale data management technology. Big data technology involves data analytics methods that extract values from voluminous and complex data sets, making new correlations to spot business trends, prevent diseases, and combat uh, crime. Mr. Leon recognized this trend earlier than most. He founded ZL Technologies in uh, 1999, four years before IBM began his uh, push to build a smarter planet and a full eight years before Cisco announced its Internet of Everything campaign. Les premiers logiciels de uh, ZL Technology ont fourni des solutions de gestion de données très volumineuses aux environnements d'affaires les plus exigeants et les plus uh, réglementés. Over the past decades, Mr. Leon has grown ZL Technology from a small enterprise offering first a secure mail carrier and then secure file sharing to a global outfit overseeing comprehensive information governance and analytic solution for sorting and mining unstructured data. Parmi les entreprises qui utilisent les services de ZL Technology figurent certaines des plus grandes entreprises du monde. Nous trouvons Toyota, Wells Fargo, all states and Sony. Under Mr. Uh, Leong leadership, ZL Technologies was selected for the uh, 2017 Stevie Award, which recognizes accomplishment and contribution of companies and business people worldwide. Avant de fonder ZL Technology, Mr. Leong a débuté sa carrière dans les technologies de l'information avant de se lancer dans les produits bancaires d'investissement à Wall Street pendant près d'une décennie, puis de revenir à ses racines technologiques. Il a été directeur des investissements en capital de risque technologique chez General Motors et vice-président des fusions et acquisitions chez Deutsche Bank. Mr. Liang was born in China and he was raised in India before immigrating to Canada and then to the uh, United States. So Mr. Leong is a Concordia alumnus, having received his undergrad degree in uh, business and computer science in 1979. Monsieur le Président et Vice-Chancelier, au nom du Sénat et du Conseil des Gouverneurs, j'ai le privilège et l'honneur de vous présenter Monsieur Con Leon, afin que vous puissiez lui décerner le titre de doctorat S. Science Honoris Causa. Now I would invite Dr. Kun Leong to make some convocation remarks. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. President Shepard esteemed members of the faculty, alumni and guests. I thank you for the honor bestowed today. 
It's been a long time, 40 years, since I roamed uh, the campuses of Loyola and Concordia, uh, Sir George Williams then. Brings me fond memories of a time when we were supremely confident. And I define confidence as a feeling you, you have before you find out what's going on. I started my career in technology and then took a bit of a detour into Wall Street for a decade and then returned to the world of uh, technology startups. I learned a few career lessons along the way, the hard way, and I thought it might be appropriate to share some of them with you today. I'll do it in two parts, one in a more generic term and the other the stuff I learned in Silicon Valley. On the generic side, the first lesson I would suggest would be to find your own way and try not to follow the crowd. I followed the crowd and in a sense I wasted 10 years of my life. After my MBA in finance, I followed the crowd to Wall Street. Finance is a fine profession, but it wasn't for me. And I think I wasted close to 10 years of my life. The second lesson is, how do you find your place in the sun, your career spot? To that, I suggest you draw two circles. One circle, you list all of your strengths, your natural strengths. In the other circle, you list all of the stuff, the things you love to do, and then see if there's an intersection. That will determine where you do best in your career choice. The third lesson I would recommend is to experiment. Experiment early, experiment often. You have a grace period of two, three years early on where you can find out where your place in the sun is. The first two, three years, you are very flexible. After that, your options start to restrict themselves. You have more obligations. And before you know it, you'll be 50 and wondering what happened. The remaining lessons I'd like to focus on uh, is more focused on what's pretty hot right now, and that's the high-tech startup. I have been mentoring some folks here at Concordia uh, off and on, and just yesterday morning I had a session, and he asked me the typical questions, and uh, well, I think he was surprised at my answers. First lesson in startups, forget the business plan. It's not important. The business idea, all of that, is not important. Why? It's not that relevant. If you don't believe me, take a look at the successful companies, what they're doing today, and then trace back what their original business plan was. There's usually no correlation. The second lesson, what you should be focusing on, is to find the right partners for the adventure. Be careful when you choose them, it's not easy. It's even more difficult than use choosing your spouse. And don't forget, you spend more time with them than with your spouse. And usually under more stress. The third lesson is to focus on adaptability because that's where the secret source is. When environments change, you turn left, you turn right, you go straight. Do it quickly, do it well. The fourth lesson is a little bit more uh, recent. I think there's been a lot of uh, misunderstanding as to what a high-tech startup is. Uh, we put that label very loosely on everything. There are two real, really two kinds of high-tech startups. One is heavy in technology, 
the other, which is de rigueur at the moment, is the web 2.0, the wireless apps, and so forth. That's really a marketing startup with a light layer of technology. You need to know which one you are so that you can appropriately choose your core team. If it's marketing, get some good marketers. And the fifth lesson is about the huge role that luck and persistence plays. I know there are many Silicon Valley legends, but mostly it's about luck and persistence. Most of us wait for Lady Luck to show up, and it's persistence that keeps you standing when she finally shows up and kisses you on the cheek. Outside of that, don't put too much stock by all the legends on Wall Street. Um, in hindsight, everyone's super smart, super hardworking, and so forth, but mostly it's Lady Luck that determines the difference. We've, one of my startups was in Mountain View, as I recall, and I was doing a, a round of funding and we had stacks and stacks and stacks of offering memoranda to print. So it was quite a stack. Went to the local copier. The owner of the copier center was there. And I said, you know, we're just getting started out. Would you like to uh, print this? And I'll offer you stock for that. He looked at me. This was in Mountain View around circa 1990. Seven, eight, nine. And he looked at me with a sad look and said, no, I can't do that. You see, uh, previously there was another company that offered me that, and I refused. They were very confused what they were about, didn't know where they were going, and didn't know if they were going to make it. That company was Netscape. So he missed, he blew a big chance there, but that tells you the vagaries of fortune in Silicon Valley. I should emphasize here that this is a time of great change, but as the Chinese say, it's also a time of great opportunity. The education at Concordia gives you a very strong platform. The rest is up to you. In closing, je veux dire quelque chose en français. Je remercie Concordia du fond de mon cœur, premièrement, pour une bonne éducation, deuxièmement, pour une expérience mémorable et formidable. I am truly grateful to Concordia for all that it's bestowed on me, including this evening's honor, and I will do all I can to help her to reach her goals going forward. Thank you. Congratulations, Dr. Leong. Thank you for the slightly heretical talk tonight, starting out with business plans don't matter, and uh, going right through to choosing spouses, partners, and some of us already are 50 and wonder what happened. Um, I, in a serious note, I wanted to say thank you for your service to contemporary Concordia. You haven't forgotten your alma mater, and we're deeply grateful for all the work you're doing with our students these days. Thank you so much. <laughs>